What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Hey y'all, it's pretty late. We finna head to get my Honda 300. It's all tore up and stuff, but as you see, got the old trailer back there. We fixing, Hunter don't need, Hunter's trying to go in his car, but I don't want him to. It's like, it's hot up in here, bro. All right. Wait till that buzzing come off before I do anything. I'm going it down because it's freaking hot as crap. All right, so you coming? Come on. Get in. Get in. All right. I got to tell y'all something. Yeah. All right, we was going to go canoeing this weekend. Take the camper down there. That's going to be an epic video. We're going to bass fish in the I, I was going to kayak. We was going to uh, bass fish in the kayaks and stuff. And uh, we had the title. We had the coronavirus. I don't know if I have it. I probably do. But my daddy has it. And my daddy don't have a spleen. If y'all know what a spleen is, I don't either. But I know it has something to do with something to do with his uh, immune system. And uh, if you don't know what we're doing right now, we're fixing to uh, hook up to the uh, fall. I can't really see now. I'm gonna let my tailgate down so I can see something. Stay. All right, now I should be able to see something. I already let my darn tailgate back up. Way too hot. It's too freaking hot. I feel like I have to go back to work. Right there. Whew. Let's show them the full one. Uh -huh. Give me a little Snapchat. You already know I got it, but uh, I got it for free. It was tore up. So, I mean, you can't pass up free stuff, you know. Nobody ever ragged it out or nothing. It was a farm four-wheeler. It just tore up, and they just never got around to fixing it. So, we're going to fix it. Got to get these off. Back ones are fine, but those front ones. I take the front ones off, probably going to take the back ones off, too. I don't know if you do that. I don't know. Probably don't. This little farm four-wheeler. Tell you, this right here is real bad. All right, now. Dang bees. Get on. I swear, if these bees don't let me along, we're feeling better from the virus. I'm not sure if I have it or not, but I'll tell you the story about this coronavirus. So my daddy is the supervisor at his job, and somebody over him went to the beach, came back with a coronavirus, and then uh, my daddy didn't start. My daddy started not feeling good, but then my daddy went and got tested. Well, if you know, if you think you've got the coronavirus, do not get the blood test all that blood test does is say if you have had it or not so the doctors lied to my daddy they say he didn't have the coronavirus and then that was, that was yesterday then he got checked today but he got the swab and then they say he had it so they're off work for two weeks there's i still got to go to work but uh they told me if I started feeling these symptoms and to tell them and stay home. But if I ever feel sick with coronavirus, I got something to mess around with. Yeah, I had a freaking dope video coming this weekend. We were gonna be canoeing and all that kind of crap. It was gonna be so fun. Yeah, if I got something really nice, they would not have let me snorkel it. But this uh, this isn't gonna be snorkel, I'm telling you. We're gonna be going deep in this thing. It's tore up. We're gonna fix it. All we gotta do is get the seat done and the fender flares off and then it'll look perfect so what i gotta do get the top part of the motor or something rebuilt that's six hundred dollars or i could go buy a used one from for three hundred to two hundred dollars probably not going to probably just go ahead and fix this one something about the starter i don't know i don't know what he said really come on boy the driveway dude just cross the driveway all right so I know it's in the driveway. I was shooting basketball and I just look up. There's a doe just standing in the driveway. So we ain't turned this dog out in like a year, a whole year, or two years. We used our other ones, but we, I don't know why we didn't use this one. We just ain't though. We couldn't turn him out. 
see if he's still good. Y'all stay tuned. Well, he's ready to go. We're going to, we're just going to walk him all the way down the driveway. He's just choking himself. He can't wait. If I let him go now, he'll just probably run in the bushes. Looks like he's trying to hunt, though. The only bad thing about it is we got the shepherds down here. Y'all can see that light pole down there. That's where the deer crossed. We'll see if his dog is still fit for deer hunting. That was the far out of it. And we'll probably put him in the pack. And it's coming up season. He's just too fat. He can't lose no weight. I don't know why we tried to feed him the last one. He's just a real healthy dog. And he can't keep up with others. That's the main reason. He's dragging me all over the darn country. That light pole right there? He went in right here. Hang on. I think he went in. I'm finna have to rewatch the video. All right, he went in. Looks about right here. See if he can smell it first. Come here. He'll smell something. Come over here, make sure you find it. All right, thank you. He smells something. Hold on, let me get this leash off of him. Ah, he, he just fiddling around. Come on here, deer crossed over here, son. Deer crossed over here, son. Come on, son. Deer crossed over here. Uh oh, hang on, come here, okay. Get at it. Find that deer, sucker. Well. Guess he ain't fit for no deer dog. I mean, this is where it was. I'll show you the video right here. I was up at the basketball goal. And there's like a, oh, he might have crossed right here. I don't know, it, look, it looks like he was closer to the light pole in the video. But see that little, you can see in the video, that little dent right there. Yeah, I probably, I probably took him. He's probably, he probably crossed right here. I took him like over there. Not a deer dog anymore, son. Probably getting a little kid. Play with or something. I don't know. Cause it don't look like he's a deer dog anymore. We ain't turned him out in like two years. He always got, he's always, he'll run with other dogs, but he always got left behind. Watch my past deer hunting videos, you know our dogs at the woods on fire. There they go, they own it. He didn't, he didn't just set the woods on fires. All right, y'all. I would really like for my videos to be 10 minutes or longer. Talk to y'all for a minute. Parents in the house sleep, and I gotta talk really loud like I usually do. Usually screaming and acting retarded. But it is Monday, getting the full weather in the shop Wednesday. I hope Daddy takes it while I'm at work. I work six days a week, usually seven, eight hours a day. Except for on Sunday. On Sunday I work. I don't work on Saturdays. But on Sundays I work like three or four hours. Three to four hours. And I get off work. I don't feel like doing Jack Diddley squat. Maybe Dad would be nice enough and take it to the shop while I'm at work and surprise me. And then, so here's, here's what's wrong with it. Needs the motor rebuilt. I ain't got enough money to go buy another four wheeler. I was going to buy another Honda 300 for like a thousand. I have, I have just about a thousand dollars. I'm getting paid Friday. I'll have $1,000 by the time I can get a four-wheeler. It was a good parts four-wheeler, and it had a good motor. All the parts to the four-wheeler was good. Pretty much what I'm saying is a running four-wheeler. A running Honda 300 is what I wanted to buy. Pretty much what I'm saying. So I, I did put on Facebook and stuff that 
I was looking for a motor and stuff, but either they were too far away or they were asking for too much. You know what? I said, screw it. We fixing that sucker Wednesday. I don't care how much it costs. My, I can, my daddy can pay for it and then I can pay him, you know, no big deal. What I'm hoping, either the top part of the motor has to be rebuilt or the whole motor. Big difference. Top part of the motor, $600. Whole motor, over $1,000. Nah. So I'm just hoping and praying to God that it's the, just the top part of the motor. Used motor can be anywhere from $150 to $300. Trust me, I'm not retarded. I've done looked. I was like, oh, you're retarded if you don't get a used motor. I've done tried, okay? I've done tried. I'm tired of it. Getting it fixed. I'll know what I have. If I get it fixed, I'll know it ain't a piece of junk. I ain't finna hook no motor up to a carburetor or none of that crap. You have to test all that crap. I'm not finna just go trust somebody from California with a Honda 300 motor to drive all the way up there and then, oh, I trust you, man. I'm gonna give you $1,000 for this thing i believe you no i'm not doing that i'm gonna get that fixed and know what i have just clarifying for you if oil pressure's gonna get fixed the post is still on there if somebody says oh i'm from new albany etta i'm your neighbor and i'll sell you my motor for three hundred dollars hello i'm getting it i'm not gonna but everybody's been texting me and stuff they're from like below Jackson, Mississippi, and I'm not driving that far. Daddy says old truck ain't won't make it that far. And he said he wasn't gonna drive his truck all the way down there for something that could probably be a piece of crap. So, so yeah, y'all stay tuned. Next video, will, it, next video, it'll probably be fixed. I'm lucky I even got this video out. I don't know whether I wanna name it. We got the coronavirus or I got a new four wheeler. Probably I got a new four wheeler and then put, we got coronavirus at the end. I always do that stupid crap. My titles are retarded. If you ever read my titles, you know they're pretty dang retarded. I didn't get tested, so I'm not really 100% sure I got it. But I've been around mom and daddy and they got it. And I mean, there's no doubt about it, I got it. But it ain't, it ain't affecting me none if I do have it. I hope you like this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.